The next comment, letter, question is from Mary in Tahunga. She says, two of your constituents disagree with your position on business regulation. My husband and I want regulations in place. We believe that it's not regulations that place impediments on job creation. The 50,000 factories that were allowed to leave this country is where many of our formerly good paying jobs went. Where is the concern for the lack of good manufacturing jobs? Why doesn't this country make things anymore? How about a contract with those businesses that have abandoned this great nation for cheap labor in foreign countries to bring them back home? Maybe they should be as loyal to us as you want us to be to them. Thank you for listening to our concerns. Well, I, Mary, I, uh, I have a totally different view on, on this. Uh, I think one of the reasons these, com these companies leave our country uh, to go to other countries is, as you said, for lower wages. Uh, another one is, though, to get rid of the excessive uh, regulation and to get rid of excessive taxation. And in many cases now, they're having to go to find adequate workforce because our education system's broken down. In many cases, we're not providing enough engineers, enough people to do these manufacturing jobs. So um, I have a good friend that moved a company to Mexico. And he said he ran into so much uh, graft, corruption, problems with the workforce that he brought his company back uh, in, into the States. I think some com companies are, are able to do that, but some just uh, get tired of dealing with the regulation. It's not just that they move from, from uh, our country to other countries. Some of them are moving from state to state because of excessive burdens and regulation within the state. California is a classic example. We have lost so much business, not just to other countries, but they move across the border to Arizona or they move to uh, Utah or Nevada or Texas or South Carolina or some other place where uh, the state puts less regulation, less taxation, uh, less government interference on their business. And uh, this is just something that, that, we, that we have to deal with. Do we get rid of all regulation? No. Do we need to have regulation for food safety and, and for product uh, safety, for pharmaceuticals, drugs? There are many things that we do need regulation on. It's excessive burdensome regulation that we're talking about that drives companies out of the state or out of the country. And, and I think uh, we, we may find some room for agreement on that because the ultimate goal is the same. Another thing though is, um, when these, com when these companies move out of the country to get cheaper wages, they produce products cheaper. Uh, Walmart, for instance, has, they're able to sell us products much cheaper than many of the companies that they buy from are, are foreign. And people go there and shop. If people would buy America, you know that people, some people talk about it, we should only buy America. If you're willing to pay 10, 20, 30, 40 percent more for a product, uh, but, but people seem to want the lowest price, but they also want to keep all of the jobs here and, and also require a good living wage. And it's hard to, to make those things always uh, match up. Anyway, thank you. Uh, appreciate uh, the letters, appreciate your interest, and, and I look forward to, to more of these. And, and more dialogue. Thank you very much.